Good morning, dear students. Hope you all are fit and fine. I believe that you all are studying sincerely to make the maximum use of this lockdown period. Students, today we will study the second part of the second chapter, chapter of our eighth class NCERT book, Honeydew. The name of the chapter is the tsunami. Children, hope. You all are doing your homework regularly given at the end of every class. Are you doing? Good. Yes, I know you all must be doing because you all are very sincere students. Now, I would like to request you once again to bring a pen and a paper to note down the important points of the chapter and to do the activity if given in the video. Students, before that, I would like to show you a very informative video. You have to watch it very carefully because it contains some important points and information which will help you to attempt the further activities successfully. Here we go. At the end of the video, I would like to achieve the following general objectives. The student should understand the text and can implement the key points in their day-to-day -day life. The student should be able to understand the passage by silent reading. Their active and passive vocabulary should be enriched. The student should be prepared for the further ordeal of the lives. The specific objectives of teaching this part of the chapter will be to make the students understand what tsunami is. I would like to enable students to the process of tsunami formation and propagation. They should understand the links between tsunami and the other natural hazards. They should be well informed about these geographical regions which are at the risk of tsunami. Students, now let's have a quick recap of what we have covered in the previous class before moving ahead for this part of the chapter. In that class, we have read about what is natural disaster or natural calamity. For, for example, we can take the name like snowstorm, floods, volcanic eruption, lightning, earthquake, etc. We have also read about what is a tsunami and its reason. A tsunami is a very large and powerful wave caused by earthquakes under the sea. We have also discussed how the tsunami hit the Indian Ocean and caused severe damage of all kinds to those areas. We have also studied some stories of courage and chivalry from Andaman and Nicobar group of islands. Now before taking our chapter formally, 
I would like to show you a video depicting the violent attack of tsunami on the beaches of Thailand. It will help you to visualize the intensity of this fatal catastrophe that had caused severe damage to these areas. You got a spare battery, Kay? Yeah. This one's running out. Oh! Tsunami! My god, he's coming oh, with a big arm! Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, look at that. I know, I can see it coming. Oh, god, there's, there's a jet down there. Yeah, no, that's what I said, it's on top of it. But he's alright, he's on the sea. I hope his battery lasts. Jesus Christ, look at that. Fucking hell. I know, I can see it. That wave is a good 15, 20 feet tall. Easy. Run out yet. Oh, look at the moon. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Get inside. Get inside. Children, now let me check your general knowledge through a quiz. I have designed it in order to assess your understanding and knowledge related to tsunami and earthquakes. This quiz contains four questions with four, with four options each. You have to choose the most appropriate option as your answer. You would have a chance to see your result at the end of this quiz. The first question is, which branch of studies deals with the earthquake earthquakes? The options are, first option, Arthology. Second option, Geophysics. Third option, Quackology. Fourth option, Seismology. Children, I am giving you time to pick up the most appropriate option for this question. Okay, now let me read the second question for you. The reading of intensity or magnitude of earthquake is measured by first, Kardashev scale. Second option, bottle dark eye scale. Third option, Beaufort scale. Fourth option, Richter, Richter scale. Again, giving I am giving you time. Children, now my third question. What is the special name given to the day of December 26, 2004. Here, the first option, the kick day. Second option, the, bo the boxing day. Third option, the tennis day. Or the fourth option, the goal day. 
Take your time children and mark the most appropriate option. Yes, let me present to you my fourth question. What can cause a tsunami? Options are, first option, landslide. Second option, underwater earthquake. Third option, volcanic eruption. Or the fourth option, all of the above. Children, think before you write your answer. Yes. Children, it's time to match your answers. The first question was, which branch of studies deals with earthquakes? Answer is, yes. Option D, seismology. Second question was, the reading. The reading of intensity or magnitude of earthquake is measured by. I hope all you all know the answer of this. Yes, again, option D, the Richter scale. Question 3 was, what is the special name given to the day of December 26, 2004? If you have seen the first video which I have shown to you, the answer was there. I hope you must have noticed. Yes, it is option B, the Boxing Day. The question 4 was about the causes of tsunami. And the answer is D option, all of the above. Landslides, underwater volcanic, underwater earthquake and volcanic eruption. All might cause a tsunami. Students, now let's begin our chapter formally. You have to read the second part of the chapter which is there in our NCRT book on page number 27 and 28 through silent reading. And you also have to underline the difficult words. Later on, I will give you its summary and the meaning of all those difficult words. Children, it's time to present the short summary of this part of the chapter to you. The main character of this part of the lesson is Tilly Smith. Tilly Smith was a 10-year-old girl of South East England who came to Phuket to, to celebrate Christmas with her family. Through her bravery and presence of mind, she was not only successful to save herself and her family members, but also the life of many tourists when the Thailand was stuck by tsunami. As soon as she saw the sea slowly rise and start foaming, she remembered a video of her geography class in which she had seen the sea behaving in the same way. That was a video of a tsunami that had hit Hawaii Island in 1946. She had won a number of awards later on. The tourists thanked Tilly and her geography lesson that had warned her. Children, now I have an interesting animated video to show you the story of our brave and intelligent heroine Tilly Smith. is based on a true story about a girl called Tilly Smith. She's from Britain. She studies geography at school. In December 2004, Tilly was 10. She was in year five at school. Mr. Kearney was her geography teacher. What is a tsunami? It's a tidal wave. Earthquakes under the ocean cause tsunamis. Two weeks later, Tilly and her family were on holiday in Thailand. They were on a beach. Look! There are lots of bubbles in the ocean. The boats are moving a lot. Look at the waves! They are very big! Suddenly, 
How strange! What's happening? Where's the ocean? Tilly was very frightened. Mum, Dad, Holly, quick! Run! Run! It's a tsunami! What's a tsunami? A tidal wave! Run, everyone! Run! Run to the hotel! There were lots of people on the beach. Minutes later, the tsunami tidal wave was at the beach. All the people from the beach were safe. We are safe here. In September 2005, Tilly was in London at an award ceremony for bravery. Well done, Tilly. Thank you. Back at school. Well done, Tilly. You're so clever. Yes, Tilly. I'm really proud of you. Children, now let's have a discussion of the difficult words used in the part of chapter with their meanings. The first word is resort, means a place where people go to on holidays. You can see a beautiful resort picture, resort picture here. Then the next word is triggered. It means to make something happen suddenly. The next word may be taken and that is whirlpool. You might have heard this name. This is the name of a home appliances company also. But it means a place in the sea where a current in the water moves very quickly round in a circular motion. You can see it in picture also. The next word is hysterical which means very excited and unable to control emotions. The next word is refuge, which means shelter or protection from danger. The next word is withstood, which means endure without collapsing. Next word is surge, which means Force momentum. The next difficult word may be taken, forewarned, which means inform someone of a possible future danger or problem. The next word is screaming, which means to cry out loudly. You can see here in picture that I have shown you a surge. Okay, a very fierce wave that has raised to a great height because of its momentum or force. Children, in this part of the video, I am going to show you a colorful comic that will give you the storyline of this part of the chapter in a different manner. Here, you will find the, all the main characters of the lesson in a functioning mode, mode. Hope you all will find it interesting too. This is the story from Thailand. Dilly Smith, a British schoolgirl, was able to save many lives when the tsunami struck Phuket Beach in Thailand. Children, Though Dilly has won a number of awards, her parents have not allowed their daughter to be interviewed on television and made into a heroine. Can you tell me why her parents, parents have taken such a decision? Why they did not want her to be interviewed on television and made into a heroine? Yes, children. Let me give you one possible reason behind this. They did not want her to be in limelight because 
the over interference and exposure of media may harm her natural innocence which may not be appropriate for her age it may cause her a severe setback because every time she has to remember the fatal incident of tsunami once again for giving interviews i think this might be the reason because of which they feel it is not good for a young girl like tilly to be interviewed time and again i hope that they are absolutely correct in their decision children here in this you can see the happy smith family from south east england the smith family from south east england were celebrating christmas at a beach resort in southern thailand tilly smith was a 10 year old school girl her sister was 7 years old their parents were panny and colin smith it was it was 26 december 2004 and deadly tsunami waves were already on their way they had been triggered by a massive earthquake of northern sumatra earlier that morning children see here in this picture you can see how tilly saw the sea slowly rise and start to form bubble and form whirlpools she immediately sensed that something was wrong her mind mind kept going back to a geography lesson she had taken in england just 2 weeks before she flew out to thailand to celebrate her holidays students you can see here how by looking at the condition of the beach tilly remembered what she had seen there in her class in the video of tsunami that had hit the hawaii islands in 1946 her geography teacher had shown her own her class the video and told them that tsunamis can be caused by earthquakes volcanoes and landslides according to her teacher during tsunami the water swells and keeps coming in and the beach gets smaller and smaller Tilly started to scream at her family to get off the beach. She talked about an earthquake under the sea. She got more and more hysterical. You can see it here in the picture. Children in this picture you can see how a bewildered Tilly ask her father and mother to run for their lives her mother tanny smith did not know what a tsunami was but seeing her daughter so frightened she guessed that there was something very very serious the smiths ran away from the beach as fast as their legs could carry them to save themselves children see here how tilly's parents took her and her sister away from the beach to the swimming pool at the hotel a number of other tourists also left the beach with them it is quite clear in this part of the picture that for them it appeared as if the entire sea had come out after them they all were quite tensed but somewhere they know that they were safe as the waves could not get up so high to swallow that part of the building the family took refuge in the third floor of the hotel the building withstood the surge of three tsunami waves if they had stayed on the beach 
they would not have been alive. But Smith's later met other tourists who had lost entire families. Some of them thanked Tilly and her geography lesson because of which they were forewarned and thus managed to save their lives from the attack of deadly tsunami. The family took refuge in the third floor of the hotel. The building withstood the surge of three tsunami waves. If they had stayed on the beach, they would not have been alive. The Smiths later met other tourists who had lost entire families. Some of them thanked Tilly and her geography lesson because of which they were forewarned and thus managed to save their lives from the attack of deadly tsunami. Children, this part of comic is depicting how Tilly went back to his school in England and told her classmates her terrifying tale. It was like a nightmare come true for her. Thus, the second part of the chapter comes to an end. Hope. You all are now well informed about the incidents and storyline of this lesson. I believe that now you all will take part in the further activities confidently. Children, I have designed a few more interesting activities for you. Here, in this part of the video, you have to complete a web chart given below with words that show the movements of water and used in this part of the chapter. You see, you have to fill these blocks which will depict the movement of water. They are eight blocks, so eight words are used here in this part of the chapter that can be used to show the movement of what. I'm giving you some time, students. I hope you all will done this. Yes. Yeah, it's done. Children, it's time to match your answers. The words which are used to show the movement of water are rise, foam, bubble, washed out, surge, roll, Rushing, swell. You can see how I have filled all these blocks. Yes, I hope you all have matched. Let's move to next activity. Children, one more interesting activity for you. It's a grammar exercise. Fill in the blanks with the correct noun of the verb given in the bracket. First statement, the earth, tram the earth trembled, but not many people felt the dash. In bracket, the given verb is tremble. Second statement, when the zoo was flooded, there was a lot of dash and many animals escaped into the countryside. In bracket, the given verb is confuse. 
third statement. We heard with Dash that the lion had been captured. In the bracket, the given verb is relieve. Fourth statement, the zookeeper was stuck in a tree and his dash was filmed by the TV crew. In bracket, the given verb is rescue. The fifth statement, there was a much dash in the village when the snake charmer came visiting. In bracket, the verb is excite. I am giving you time children to solve this exercise. Children, do you find the previous activity a little bit difficult for you to attempt? Or you feel that you are not confident with your answers? Okay, no problem. Let me give you some basic, some basic knowledge about nouns and verbs about which we have talked about in that activity. After this, I am sure you will be able to do such exercises with great confidence. So, let me take up firstly the noun. A noun is a part of a speech that names a person, place, thing, idea, action or quality. I hope you all are clear with this. In English, nouns can be singular or plural. All nouns can be classified into two groups of noun, that is common noun and proper noun. In the picture, you can see a thing, that is umbrella, it's a noun. You can see a picture of man, this man can be Sham, Ram, Rohan, Rohit, anyone. You can see a picture. You must be sure this is the picture of which historical building? Yes, the Taj Mahal. So it is also a noun. Children, now let me take up verb. A verb is a word or a group of words that is used to indicate that something happens or exists. For example, bring, happen, be, do, etc., etc. In simple words, it is the action word in a sentence. You can see in the pictures, the first picture is showing give, then walk, look, catch, fly, feed, lift, dig, play, make, talk, ride. All are verbs. Because in every picture, some action is being done. Now, I hope you all are clear with these two terms, nouns and verbs. Now, it will help you to solve that exercise. I am giving you time again to go through your answers again and to come up with the answers with a great confidence. Yes, students, let's match your answers. The earth trembled, but not many people felt the dash. You see, tremble is our verb. We need a noun to fill here. And that noun will be? Yes, trembling, trembling or tremors. Both the noun forms are correct. Second statement. When the zoo was flooded, there was a lot of... What will come here? Yes, confusion. And many animals escaped into the countryside. Confuse is our verb and confusion is the noun. Third statement. We heard with dash 
that the lion had been captured the desired noun form is relief okay the fourth statement the zoo keeper was stuck in a tree and his dash was filmed by the tv crew rescue the verb rescue will be same even it in its noun form fifth statement there was a much excitement in the village when the snake charmer came visiting the verb excite will make the noun excitement which we have used here in this statement hope you all ha all have matched good children it's time to have a quick recapitulation of whatever we have done so far in this part of the chapter say whether the following statements are true or false on the basis of your understanding of this part of this part of the lesson first statement the smith family came from the united states of america second statement the smith came to thailand to celebrate christmas third statement tilly's mother was alarmed by the warning signs of the sea fourth statement tilly didn't try to save the life of other tourists on the beach fifth statement tilly started to scream at her family to get off the beach fifth sixth statement the family took refuge in the third floor of the hotel think before you write your answers students children it's time to match your answers let's have a look the first statement is a false statement the smith family came from south east of england not from united states of america second statement is a true statement of course the smith came to thailand to celebrate christmas only the third statement is again a false statement tilly's mother was not at all alarmed by the warning signs because she did not have any knowledge about tsunami fourth statement again a false statement tilly do try to save the life of other tourist on the beach and was successful also fifth statement is a true statement tilly started to scream as soon as she sensed an approaching danger of tsunami fifth sixth statement the family took refuge in the third floor of the hotel again it is a true statement and that's why they survived children now here i am giving you a worksheet in which you have to read the following passage and then answer the questions that follow tilly saw the sea slowly rise and start to foam bubble and form world form world pools she remembered that she had seen this in class in a video of a tsunami that had hit the hawaii island in 1946 her geography teacher had shown her class the video and told them that tsunami can be caused by earthquakes volcanoes and landslides this is the passage children now the questions what did tilly saw first question second question what did she remembered third question when did the tsunami hit the hawaii islands fourth question what is a whirlpool i am giving you some time to think about these questions 
You have to answer them briefly, remember. Children, I hope you all are ready with your answers to match. Here we go. The first answer is Tilly saw the sea slowly rise and start to foam, bubble and form whirlpools. Second answer, sir. She remembered her geography class where she had seen a video of tsunami. Answer third, a tsunami hit the Hawaii Islands in 1946. Answer four, a whirlpool is a powerful circular current of water. I hope you all have matched. Good. Children, it's time to discuss the comprehension check of the page number 28 and 29 of our NCRT book. You have to answer these questions in a phrase or a sentence. The first question. Why did Tilly's family come to Thailand? I think you all know the answer. Second question. What were the warning signs that both Tilly and her mother saw? Third question. Do you think Tilly's mother was alarmed by them? Fourth question. Where had Tilly seen the sea behaving in the same strange fashion? Fifth question, where did the Smith family and the others on the beach go to escape from the tsunami? Sixth question, how do you think her geography teacher felt when he heard about what Tilly had done in Phuket? I hope you all must know the answers. Yes, write your answers and you have to match your answers with mine which I will show you later on. Children, now here I feel you all must be ready with your answers to match. Yes, here we go. The first answer is Tilly's family came to Thailand to celebrate Christmas. Second answer the, the sea slowly rose and started to form, bubble and form whirlpools. Third answer. No, Tilly's mother was not at all alarmed by all those warning signs given by the sea. Fourth answer. Tilly had seen this in her geography class in a video of tsunami that had hit the Hawaii island in 1946. Answer fifth. They took refuge in the third floor of the hotel to escape from the tsunami. Sixth answer. I think... He would have felt proud of Tilly. After hearing about what Tilly had done in Phuket. Students, it's time for a homework. You have read about the First World War in the previous chapter and about tsunami, a natural disaster here. Undeniably, all man-made disasters are anthropogenic. How, however, do you think that natural disaster can also be accelerated by human activities? Write your views in around 120 words. Children, it's time to say you goodbye. Hope you all must have understand whatever I have taught you in this class. See you soon with the last part of the chapter. Till then, 
Take care, stay in home and keep on studying. Thank you.